What up, what up? How we sounding? <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick. I hope this thing's on. Am I muted? Am I not muted? It's hard to tell. Is this working? Piece yep. Load letter. Things are working. Does that That's mean? good. That's good. We like it when things work. <laughs> Zero to three. Guess how many cats are on my lap? <laughs> Clickbait emoji Kong. That's a clickbaity title for sure. One of Rob's cats is on his lap. Click to find out which one. Ugh. I don't. F I don't think he's gonna leave either. I think he's holding my lap hostage. Okay. Be right back. Well, I guess we don't get any intro music today. What's going on, Hobby <laughs> Maniacs? We have experienced what they call technical difficulties. If you're following along at home, you may already be drunk. This is the Hobby Report. I'm Robbie B. And this is your tabletop resource to help keep your hobby muscles strong. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that so strong <laughs> what's going on everybody oh yeah we got a little um we changed up the studio a bit i'm sure you will see it here shortly <laughs> i don't know when that intro music is going to play now that's puzzling what's going on everybody james in the house liz gray of course drago the huff brass claw Jacket clothes painting. New cat, yeah, we got we we got a new we got a new cat command. We'll give you a quick tour. It's not all 
uh, I guess, finished, but it's better than it was. We had a little, a little adversity to overcome, mostly brick walls. <laughs> you can't F around when it comes to brick, yo. Kevrov in the house. There is a cat on my lap. He may or may not be a black cat. Clyde Frog. <laughs> Dirty Dark. Love Minis. Gotta love that name. That username, Ugly. 81. Omega Sun. Ty Winnie. <laughs> Less whirly Durly. <laughs> Any pants I make you are better than the pants you have back home. 100%. <laughs> oh, that's a great, it's a great Monday. When a Monday follows an episode of Rick, a new episode of Rick and Morty, it's always going to be a good one. Look at this hand bone. He's just hanging out. He's just like, yeah. He's like so purring. I don't know if you guys can hear him. He's just like, he's like, I'm not leaving. Just not leaving. You started talking, I'm just gonna sit here forever. I'm time, I'm literally time. Welcome to being a man, Jerry. Beer o'clock, Grenstov, what's going on? <laughs> uh, I don't know how many streamers are in here right now, but I know Jack of Close Paintings is definitely a streamer, so make sure you give him a click follow. Stormhammer painting too, also a painter. What's going on? I don't think he streams on Twitch, but maybe you should follow him just the same. <laughs> yeah, Andre just just hanging out. Oh, good news! I just looked down at the floor. That's where I keep the booze on the floor because uh, I don't really drink a lot. I just drink on like Monday nights with you guys and like every other day of the week. So like you know, I'm, I'm really. <laughs> I love sharing a drink with you guys on uh, on Mondays, but we got all three of the hairball liquors We got the cactus juice the pirate juice and of course the bear juice. Oh, no more cat cat is gone We're cat free. We're cat free Till five minutes from now and we'll not be cat free. Oh I need to set I Need to do a thing. I did not do a thing. I must do a thing. Let's turn cat naps on. How about that? Been doing so many vodcasts. We're gonna have a new video for the vodcast this week. There you go. Should be up and running. I can almost see. Enable. Catnaps online. They might actually work too. Hard to say. 50 50. Knowing the way things go around here, we're all going to be drunk by the end of the show due to technical difficulties. I know Keylon was having a, a tough time of it. <laughs> Sleeping cat on your lap. That's what I'm talking about. What was that? Keylon Prime. Keylon Prime in the house. What's going on, everybody? Coming over from Keylon's stream. This is the Hobby Report. We're going to do some talking. We're going to do some unboxing, some show and tell. If you want to share your miniatures, exclamation point gallery. Get them in the Slow Fuse community gallery and we'll take a look at them. Well, there's the black cat. He didn't go far. We'll take a look at those. <laughs> rat cat fever. Uh, this is the, uh, what is it? The rat cat bromance. Back to back. Rat cat power. <laughs> we got to come up with something better. Oh, speaking of cats. Today... And only today. Well, maybe maybe another day. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my Double part. Deuce. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> I don't. For the wolf time. What was that? Oh my goodness. Is that a resub? The double deuce. Oh, Lando. Lando, what's up? Thanks for the resub. There we go. We have a hidden new uh, follower animation. It won't be hidden long because usually we get a lot of followers during the stream that one should be popping off but again bonus cat apps right there you just saw it if we get 20 subs and resubs during the show third or 50 follows during the show free 30 cat naps to everybody watching the show live right then and there there it is 
We got a sub train. Seriously, it's time. Seriously, it's time to move to California and take this relationship to the next level. Oh my goodness, I don't know. California, that's far. I just moved. I just moved, John Bingham. I don't know if it's in me to move again. This one was. This one was tough. I like my new place. I got. I got room. I got so much room for activities. There's like deer in the backyard to taunt the cats. There's birds in the front yard to taunt the cats. I don't even have to like do anything. They're like completely self-sufficient. These cats have become like Skynet. They only need me to provide them with clean water at least once a day. That's it. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> oh, the new curiosity model is Nightmare Killed the Cat. Curiosity Killed the Cat. Oh, they do that every year at Gen Con. I did not. I totally missed it. That's a cool, that's a cool model. I bet you it's, uh, it's always that same chick with a new pose. That's awesome, Grenz. Stormhammer, you, you're streaming on Twitch? Is that for real? Is that a real thing? <laughs> Yelta, yes. No, it's Devastator and Fortress Maximus. One of the coolest headmasters, the coolest headmaster in the history of ever. He's got Cerebrus up there. That head's actually a figure. And then that head, or that figure, uh, I think he also has a head, if I'm not mistaken. I forget. It's been a long time. And then, of course, there's a little Titan. Look at the, <laughs> look at the Reaver Titan. He's so small. He's so small. He's small. Lovely. But yeah, we got to, we got to fill up the rest of the stuff here, but we've, we're still unpacking, of course. But lots of stuff, lots of lots of cool things around. We got lots to show off tonight. Uh, doing some unboxings. Oh yeah, I do have to scoop the poop. That's what they need me for. Oh, it's the Hamlin Rat cl Crew, but cat theme. Okay, great, cl <laughs> great clad strangers indeed. Apollo, Apollonosis, Apollonosis. What are you going to paint today? Oh, well, we're going to work on... Uh, we have our Warrior Demon, and we're going to get some input from you guys on how you want to do the reds, because I think we're going to finish up the reds on camera today and probably move on to another project. We also got some Stormcast to work on today. Wanted to show you guys some basing techniques and some of the stuff we didn't show you on air for Dragon Cat. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, Andre's all over the place. He just, Andre just does what he does. Am I hyped for Necromunda? I think Necromunda is going to be pretty sweet. I'm hoping, uh, oh, there is a tail. Yeah. I'm hoping it follows the, uh, the Blood Bowl rollout. I think it will. I think it'll be pretty good. I'm, I'm sure I'm doing my part. they will I'm doing do something part dope. Too. Nova, Novi, A, Nova. <laughs> Nova, Novi, Nova. LT, yeah, it doesn't look like, uh, doesn't look like we're gonna get all our death guard stuff that weekend so i might try to come up for at least a day say what's up to everybody handle some business and come on back home thank you for the resub lt all right so tonight we have uh interesting we have a great show for you tonight, actually. So on the cat box giveaway, we got the new box up Primaris Spaz Marines here. Top donator is the Magma Droth. That's that big ass lava dragon thing you see right there on the screen for uh, the Fire Slayers. It's a really awesome model. Some of the some of the coolest models, in my opinion, are uh, from Age of Sigmar for sure. And we have a pretty cool little promotion on catnaps. It's nine catnap live. So any donation of exactly $9.99 will get you a bonus 99 catnaps. It's like three for the price of two. <laughs> and get you towards those redemptions. And speaking of redemptions, nobody's redeemed anything this week. So <laughs> since nobody redeemed anything last week, we were going to throw the... Modern Warfare set you gotta give me from uh, GameMat.eu on there, but it sounds. looks like we just threw that on the cat box giveaway <laughs> randomly, so we'll give that away at some point. You can check out what that is it's over at GameMat.eu. Does that mean? 
I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. <laughs> I'm doing my part too. Rolling sevens. <laughs> Rolling sevens on 2d6, I hope. <laughs> Cola, thank you for the resub. I has a Twitch. Thank you for the follow. And James Staystyle, thank you for the donations. Pro tip, should have donated 999 twice. <laughs> Get them bonus catnaps. Oh yeah, you know, you know what it is. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about Star Wars Legion. The newest tabletop property. Ah, uh, cat tours. You can always, you can always win another one. Just gotta, just gotta be here. That's all. Dragon costume for the cats. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I, I don't know if they'd they'd wear it. That's the problem with cats. They kind of just do what they want. I wouldn't say problem. I would say, hmm, that's the entertainment value. <laughs> with the cats so yeah we got a lot of we got a lot to, lot to do tonight so let's get started let's talk about some talk about some things here so obviously we have the new cat command center we've uh we spruced it up a bit we had to go vertical let me show you around real quick here so we had to go vertical with it so we got some shelves in here some of my some of my older toys and just some knickknacks and things and some box sets and stuff up there just some of our cool cool stuff. We couldn't really go into the wall because there's actually uh, masonry behind that wall right there. So we had to go bookshelves and display cases and just kind of, we can hang a picture or two, but I didn't want to get too what crazy. What is the internet? <laughs> the internet is a communications tool used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another. Monday is not the best day of the week, but apparently is percent more than the literal best day of the week somehow. <laughs> Strap around or something. <laughs> it is at least 33% more than more better or more better or. All right, so we're gonna turn the camera a little bit here. So there's the rest of the cases that need to get filled and some of our box sets from back in the day. Some pictures that need to get hung. And yes, believe it or not, there is actually a fireplace right there. So all we need now is a smoking jacket. And we can have uh, <laughs> fireside AMAs with Robbie B. I'm, I'm, I'm told that it works. I have not tried it out yet because it's effing summer and that is just too hot. Even I can't handle that. <laughs> so, lots to talk about. Like I said, uh, we haven't had any redemptions yet. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, but soon, I imagine we'll have some redemptions. Make sure you check it out, exclamation point redemptions. Yeah, get that smoking jacket and pipe, exactly. Exclamation point redemptions to see how you can redeem those catnaps. Next week will be the very last week for the month. LT, that sounds like too much work. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I don't wanna put crazy holes in this wall. This wood, I suspect this wood is like older than me, so I don't wanna. I don't want to destroy this room. We don't. We don't want that. <laughs> All right. Like we said, nine catnap lives. Every donation of exactly. Lifting <laughs> guy catnaps. Every donation of exactly nine dollars and ninety nine cents will get a bonus ninety nine catnaps today and today only. Act now, cat operators are mostly standing by. Or maybe maybe they're just laying around. They're probably just laying around. <laughs> Over on the long war, we got a lot going on. We dropped a new battle report today. Uh, we are filming a couple this weekend. Austin's going to come back down into the Beats Lab, and we're going to knock out a few more. Hopefully, we got some Primaris Marines cooking, maybe some Guard Heavies, and some Night Titan. I heard Orcs, too. Maybe some Orcs. Really excited to see what those guys bring down. I don't have any robots, JP Gray, just cats. <laughs> uh, the latest video battle report for 8th edition over on the Hall of Veterans has Kinder and Austin battling and out. It was uh, it was actually a really, really entertaining battle report. Uh, Blood Angels, it, 
it it was it was fun to watch. You just gotta watch it. It will be over on YouTube here in a week or so, give or take. Jay Meredith, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Kenny dropped a new tutorial. Uh, this is also on the Hall of Veterans. White and three simple tricks. He actually painted up those uh, I don't know intake jetpack electro doohickeys on Nemo's shoulder pads right there using a a tan and working it up through some whites a bit. It's kind of kind of different. We've seen a lot of grays and stuff, you know, with white. So it's kind of different to see some some tan action right there with some of the new Grim Kim paints. I thought it was pretty cool. A butter robot. I wish I had a butter robot. <laughs> what is my purpose? <laughs> uh, still over on the Hall of Veteran. Oh, I don't think that volume's uh, loud enough. Dang it. Back to the drawing board on that one. Oh, well. Uh, still over on the Hall of Veterans is our tips and tactics breakdown of the new Codex Space Marines and the new Grey Knight Codex as well. Now, there, there was an FAQ put out over the weekend. We're going to talk about it a little bit. I think it'll be good times for everyone there. Echo Base Artisans, what's going on? And we'll get, uh, we have a showcase out today actually on YouTube for the old, I don't know if you remember it, but it was the uh, uh, Slaves to Darkness book from 1988. We did a hobby retro showcase of that. And then tomorrow we'll be dropping a tutorial on eyes and lenses. <laughs> Grenstoff says, my purpose is to be buried under an ever expanding pile of miniatures. I know that feeling. Trying to trying to stay ahead of the curve on that one. It's it is very tough to do. All right, well let's talk some FAQs, shall we? Remember exclamation point gallery. Get your work in progress. Pictures, your beat slabs, your eat slabs. I'm Lord Victor, and I give respect. Your planet and your life <laughs> is what I expect. Bring on the dragons. Hashtag Robbie B for life. <laughs> Tim the Great, thank you for the donation. I hear the trick to fighting dragons is uh, don't get burnt. That just don't get burnt. That's that's all you got to do. <laughs> that is the word on the street. All right, let's talk some FAQs. I feel like we need some FAQs in our lives. We got to work through one of these things too, real quick because. All right, so here's the Grey Knight Codex, which honestly wasn't that much. So you got, you can only use the stratagem once per battle, which kind of makes sense. So you can't get like infinity uh, relics. And then Santic was changed. And I, and I don't really get this one. Maybe some, maybe somebody knows something more than me. But in like the week that the book was out, was there some sort of super abusive two up save? Because with, with Sanctuary, because I, I didn't see it. Apparently they changed it, so now uh, it can only be approved at the start of your next psyche phase. The invulnerable save of that unit is improved by one to a maximum of three up. So this is saying you can only go uh, three up, basically. And models still, if they don't have it, they get a five up, which I think was originally, but there was no restriction here to a maximum. Also, they changed it to a warp, warp value of six. So I'm not really sure if I missed something again. And I think you can still use the stratagem and spend your two command points and get a plus one. So you cast the power, and then when you get targeted or something, you can you know use the stratagem, get your save down to a two up for that for that particular uh, you know happening right there. <laughs> to to be the dragon of Mars, and what's the dragon of Mars look like anyway? I guess it's the same but kind of green, right? Something like that. Green Eye book. So we're gonna pull out the Green Eye book and check out the stratagem real quick. I think it's the Prognation, Progcast, Progcast Nation. Heed the Prog, Progcast, Prognest, whatever. Pick a Grey Knight's character, add one to its invulnerable save throws until the start of your next turn. So use the stratagem at the start of your turn. Hmm. 
Sanctuary has a warp charge of six. Until the start of your next psychic phase, the Invulnerable save of that unit is improved by one. So it does not look like you can stack them. So it's one or the other. You get the stratagem or you get the three up. That's interesting. Prognosticars. That's too much word. That's too wordy, Wolf Knight. It's too wordy. I don't like it. You, <laughs> you too fancy. <laughs> Look, I'm from the South. We had trouble with words sometimes. It's not my fault. I blame I blame the Southern society. It actually has nothing to do with the South whatsoever. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess Grey Knights were just so broken that they needed an FAQ, <laughs> FAQ in the first what week. What the is the internet? The internet is Indeed. a communications tool. Used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another. Two command points to prognosticate. Uh, that's what happens when I cannot pronounce words. I get trolled. <laughs> it's very flippy for real. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. So, uh, like I said, I don't know. I guess Green Eyes were super broken. They needed to change that in, two week in the first week. But whatever. All right. Moving along to Chaos Space Marines. This was the other FAQ day drop on Sunday. So let's take a look at this. There's only a few points, but uh, we got the normal stuff. Like, you can't double stamp a triple stamp. Things like the Legion traits, just because it didn't say infantry bikers and hellbrutes doesn't mean that you could still do it to like vehicles. Okay, got it, that's fair. Uh, Gifts of Chaos, you can also not go infinite on your relics, which makes sense. I, I can get behind that. Chaos Boon. Use it at the end of the fight phase. It looks like now. And Weaver of Fates. Now this is interesting. Until the start of your next psychic phase, the invulnerable save of that unit is improved by one to a maximum of three up. So. We knew everybody was all... First they gave us this power to pretty much everybody. They're like, hey, if you're, if you're Thousand Sons, you got it, dog. You want it? You got it. No big deal. Here I'm it is, right? I'm doing my part. And now it looks like they took it back a little bit. My part too. FAQs for the FAQ God. Errata for the Errata Throne. Yo, and I just want to... Th <laughs> You're not lying, it's the woman name. I just want to throw something out there. Does anybody have a hard time making an army list these days? Because there's been so many updates. So many FAQs. And then I guess Nova is now saying that this stuff is allowed in. Like, to, like 14 days out. They flip flopped and they're allowing, they're allowing, I guess, the chaos decks and the and the gray knight decks. Like, is it just me? And I, I really don't want to sound negative, but like, it takes it takes me so long to hobby out of my armies. You know, I work just like everybody else, right? So I'm hobbying on my personal stuff, and like my guard army has already. I can't play the guard army I started out with at the beginning of of eighth edition, right? It is changed twice. There's been two FAQs that has basically nerfed what I wanted to do. I just was taking Pask and I was just taking searchlights out of the out of the Forge World book. And now we've got we got it where you know it's just there's so much documentation coming out. It's it's hard to keep up. It's hard it's hard for me to keep up. Okay. So there's no restriction on Weaver of Fate. Until the start of your next uh, psychic phase you can add one to any invulnerable save. So they put the three up in here, it looks like. Improved by one to a maximum of three up. So, I guess you can't, you can still reroll ones. You can still reroll ones with Zinch, right? So it's just, it's, it's just not as good. So they kind of, uh, I guess they nerfed the, the invulnerable safe thing between the, the Grey Knights. And the Grey Knights and the, uh, and the Chaos guys right there. Hmm. Valkyrie44 says, it took me less time. It took me time to make my nid list and need to redo it. Been playing AOS more than anything. Yeah, I feel you on that. Well, that's all about to change this week too. But I mean, it's one solid change. It's not It's not multiple changes. I mean, there's been some some books or some indexes already have two FAQs. 
<laughs> JP Gray. I stopped painting things waiting for the bus to slow down. Lotus Cobra. This this is true. If you only play bad units, your army will still function normally after FAQs. It's true. I'm sorry I wanted to take pass. The Supreme Tank Commander of the uh, the Allied Guard Forces. Yeah, nobody gets a 2++ plus plus save. I think that's fair. That was one of the things that really broke 7th edition, I feel like. Well, there was a lot of things. But that was definitely towards the top of the list. Ty Winning says, make Terminators great again, GW. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. I do like this rule. They added uh, Cypher. Nope. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. I don't know what that is. There is some random setting somewhere. Strong bad is doing strong bad things. Pits pilot, thank you for the resub. I was checking. I was like, what is that? Maybe that's a resub. Maybe that's a resub. Hmm. I bet you that's what that is. I'll have to check that after the show. I can't even see the taskbar right now. <laughs> Terminators are great. They're called custodies. Oh, too soon, bro. Uh, so I like the No One's Puppet. I like the Berserker Horde. Uh, people were definitely angry about Berserkers not being troops. And of course, they did the same thing. Now, how is it that I can say Cacophony, but I can't say Prognasticators? Prognasticators. I can't say it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, they brought the Predator in line with... It seemed like they, they messed up all the Predator. Not that that's a big deal. So that was basically the big stuff. So Cypher is still kind of the redheaded hide and seek champion of the galaxy a little bit there. So it definitely looks like I would say that out of the two FAQs that the Chaos one got hit a little bit harder. But they got some bennies too. Like, hey, you want to run Berserker Herd? Go for it, dog. <laughs> Yo, I got your pants right here. Don't be tripping. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, so we got some more. Oh yeah, let me check that. Check the list. Oh yeah, lots of cool stuff. We got lots to talk about tonight, but I want to do more painting. I actually want to focus more on painting to be honest. Okay. So that was our FAQ roundup for the most part. I'm like I said, I'm sure everything will change. Now, we will have some downtime because we're going to do uh, some washes and wait for some other things to dry on uh, the stuff we're going to paint today. So get your share your works in progress. Beat slabs, eat slabs, crazy cat pictures, exclamation point gallery to see how all that works. I <laughs> Grens, no. Custodies need more. Dude, they need they need more love in eighth. Let's be honest. Nobody plays with them in eighth. They and I haven't seen the the talents of the emperor box yet. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I imagine it's just index rules in there, right? But I'm hoping to to pick one up here soon just so I can check out the rules. But I mean, you got all this dope stuff out there. Like you got people, you know. I mean, I guess you could just paint you could just paint them up as gray knights and run them as gray knights. Like so, you had like some cool rules and they don't. I don't really have tanks, but I don't know. It just makes me sad. They have such they have such cool potential. So much potential on the tabletop. And they're just kind of meh. Rules-wise. But it is what it is, I suppose. Can't be hating. Okay. So let's check out some newsy type stuff. So if you haven't heard, FFG is throwing its considerable 800 pound gorilla weight behind a new Star Wars property. Now, this was a long time coming, believe it or not, uh, Star Wars Legion, not quite what they had ori uh, originally envisioned for the game. But nonetheless, uh, these figures are a bigger scale than uh, the current Imperial Assault game. So this is coming to tabletops early next year. I think the box is $85. Uh, 
And there you can see uh, some stormtroopers and Luke thrown down with Vader as well. So there's a lot of different rule stuff, and of course, you know, we'll break this down as we get our hot little hands on them, but it seems like there's like an initiative type deal. You can issue orders, which seems pretty neat, and then everybody else just kind of pulls from a, from a sack, from like a uh, activation sack, similar to bolt action perhaps, uh, to do things. Now, a couple of mechanics that I personally like about this is uh, you want to you order... I guess order of activation just like in eighth edition is very key here from what they're from what they're showing uh but also you're gonna have upgrade cards and such and remember you know dice different colored dice do different color damage right uh movement looks pretty neat because you just move the squad leader and then the squad leader everybody just kind of fills in in a radius around it and there's some sort of uh tool uh, what is it? Movement tool with the base of the unit leader and move it to the end of the movement tool. So maybe a cardboard punch out kind of type deal. And then everybody gets upgrades. Uh, Rebel troopers kind of shooting here. Just kind of shows you the mechanics of how it works. Squads and things and then creating your own army. Now somebody already got a hold of the miniatures and they did a painting guide. And in the painting guide he said that Luke himself is 35 millimeters high. And the base measure is 28 millimeters approximately across. So it looks to be on scale with uh, what we've seen in the past as far as, you know, uh, Warhammer type hero, not hero or heroic 28, not real 28, which looks really cool. So um, I'm pretty dope. I, I'm, I'm stoked, man. This FFG, anything they touches, especially if it's Star Wars, just seems to do so well. So I can't wait. And this has such crossover potential. Not even bringing, not even talking about like just FFG doing well, but think about the amount of people, like say they pick this game up at Barnes and Noble or whatever, or Target or something. You know, I'm not even saying that it'll go there, but it, there's potential for it to go there, right? Then they start figuring out, oh, this is a game. Oh, I can go play it with some other people. You start getting more and more people in the gaming stores, which is great, right? Because then they start picking up on other games, you know, kind of fall into like, what they're cool with, where their hobby potential is, you know, kind of expand. We all rise with the hobby tide. You know, we said that we said that a million times on here, and you see it more and more over the past couple of years that there's just it's becoming so much more mainstream than it used to be, and that's really good to see for all of us. You know, because now we we know we're we're, we're part of something that basically isn't dying. When you look at some of the other. Uh, maybe tabletop formats like there's you know specific war games that are like kind of dating themselves a little bit and Maybe not growing as much as they would like but at least on our side of things, you know uh, Between the Warhammer and, and, and the tabletop war gaming in general seems to be growing which is which is awesome Which is definitely awesome Jack of close painting says I painted I played against some custodies at war games con. Oh, yeah, that was over the weekend. How was that? I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. Yeah, new armies are definitely expensive. Part two. It's been so long. <laughs> it has been so long. I didn't leave you without a dope beat to step to Tim the Great. Thank you for the resell. Oh no, being a hot spot, hot spot for your laptop. I feel you on that. Warchild, you agreed with me. I don't know what you agreed about, but thank you. <laughs> all right don't forget today is nine catnap lives so you get a bonus 99 catnaps for every donation of exactly nine dollars and 99 cents so that's the star warsy stuff the new legion excitement uh there was a lot a ton of information of course we'll be uh, dissecting it there's new wave 12 for x-wing miniatures rune wars has a lot of stuff we actually have a box of the latari elves that we're going to show you guys today at some point hopefully jack of club said he won best painted for space sharks and t sons that's cool post some of those in the gallery d 
Tim the Great, I'll let you in on a little secret. Whether it's 160p or or 800p, I always look funny. Today and today only, Liz Gray. All right, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. What else do we got? What else happened? Things happen. Lots of things happen. New Forge World releases. Uh, does anybody else out there want those uh, custodian miniatures? FFG. Oh, it wasn't FFG. It was... Uh, who was this? Ninja Division announced a new Warhammer Fantasy branded board game called Doomseeker, which looks to be... The whole point is to die in a most spectacular kind of way, much like a Dwarven Berserker that we're all used to from the old world. We broke down the new Age of Sigmar bundles here, which I guess we can click on and give you a preview of what the uh, of what's coming this this week. So you got the Blood Feast Gorgers right here. It looks like you saved twenty five bucks on them. If you like mad cows, <laughs> this might be the one for you. Get a Gorgon and three of the Minotaurs. The Slaves of Darkness uh, is kind of an eclectic mix. Get two of the chariots. Remember that one chariot makes uh, both of those variants right there and some knights. Save about 30 bucks on that one. The Brood Coven, it's got that crazy uh, Blood Throne and some Witch Elves, which, you know, it's 60 bucks each. Well, <laughs> vote with your hobby dollars there. But if you're going to buy it, you might as well pick up this one here. Total savings at $35, which is a pretty fair deal. If you're into the Gobbos, you can get the big spider gobble and the little gobbles at a savings of $30 right here this week. Yeah, Gary the Fedman, I think a lot of people are going to spend a lot of money on the new Star Wars Legions game. And it is going to be unpainted, so it looks like they will be able to keep pushing those out the door just as fast as possible. They won't have those, uh, hopefully won't have those production issues like X-Wing. The El Guzzler Gargant. Definitely good allies right there. Savings on two. $30. If you like the undead, this one might be for you. Death Rattle. Savings of $24 off getting the new White King, Black Knights, and Graveguard. And then if you like the super duper undead, you got the Night Haunts. And there's about $20 savings on this one. But you get that sweet Karn Wraith, which is pretty dope. Oh, you don't have the pics on your phone, Jack of Clubs? No worries. Omega Sun. Yeah, we should be getting uh, Lady of Strife here soon. We're going to show show her off a bit. Maybe do a giveaway or two. And then, of course, the new Blight War box. It's coming out as well. So that's the new releases for this week. But, of course, we know Blight War box is on the way. Let's see if we got an article in here on that. General's Handbook, Shocker. New miniatures game, Black Library, Wave 12 was officially teased today by FFG. Looking fresh. Here we go. Now, me and Keyline were talking about this in the stream today. Uh, Hoofton, I think they deploy on the board. Some of them can uh, land or come from the stars or whatever it's called. I would check the uh, Seraphon, check the Seraphon battle tome for that. That'll definitely uh, get you there. So the Blight War box set is coming out. Here you can see all the miniatures pictured. Now, the big question is the Chocobos, those are the little, uh, the old FFG, or <laughs> the old fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy style mounts for the Stormcast in the back there. Those are on 75 mil wide bases. So the question is, what snails on in the front there? Is that a large cav? It could be a large cav, or it could be a dreadnought size base, which is really interesting. Because if you kind of think about it, those Nurglings and the Lady Cast figure are on 40 mil bases. And it almost looks like you could put three of those wide across there, which would put it up to around 120 which may be the Dreadnought size. So this thing might be pretty huge, but it's still kind of too early to tell. The internet. the internet is a communications tool used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another. <laughs> Valkyrie44, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Make sure you hit exclamation point info to find out all the cool things you can do with your catnaps. 
Speaking of Age of Sigmar, tonight's top donor giveaway, of course, is the Magma Droth. That's that ginormous lava dragon for the Fire Slayers. I think he goes for, I don't know, like 100 bucks ish Yeah, Hoofton, I'm not 100% sure on their, on their particular rules. I played against them a couple times, and I believe they did set up on the table. But there are units they can just deploy. And there's like dodgy, uh, the little chameleon skinks can do crazy stuff too. So snails might actually be pretty big. Now value-wise, it uh, looks like this box will be going for around $160 US. We don't 100% know yet. But if that's the case, at retail of all these miniatures, you're looking at about $143. So assuming that you can value the two special characters that come in here at at least $20 each, you're talking $283. So, about a 40% discount, give or take, off buying all the models individually. So if you're looking to get into Stormcast or Nurgle for that matter, uh, this might be the box for you. Maybe split two of these with your buddy. I can't comment on the points because we know they're all changing in the General's Handbook. <laughs> Snail Rider is your new Mauler Fiend. He might be that big. It's, it's, it's still kind of too early to tell, but he kind of looks like he's just as big as those... Uh, uh, plague drones back there, right? Or the drones? Blight drones, whatever they're called. So I'm digging it. Comes with War Scroll Battalions and War Scrolls for the two brand new characters. So again, this is their... I guess this is probably their first... Their first for, uh, foray back into the... Hey, we're putting out this box set, but it's only coming with like two special characters in it. Because they did it for what? They did it for the Death Watch box, right? Yeah, they did it for the Death Watch because we got Eldrad and we got Artemis. They did it for Storm Stormclaw was the first one they did it with back in summer of 2014 with the Space Wolf guy and that dope orc war boss with the charging squig that he was holding back. Uh, Death Guard still might get some sort of crazy monster. He was way bigger looking than that. But, I mean, if now we see that they can make this snail thing, can you only imagine what a Nurgle crazy Mauler Fiend looking thing would look like? Like, I'm stoked for that. <laughs> Valkyrie44 says, you know I'm getting that box. I'm not addicted. I could quit any time. I could quit any time. <laughs> My GW chip is not going off right now. Oh, here, let's go back there. Check a look, take a look at this. So here's the close-ups. There's a little dial, some sort of rule thingy. Uh, then we got Lady Cast with two different heads, it looks like. Some dope axes. And Snails himself right there with all his super legs. Thank God for them internet. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I like the little anglerfish uh, squig. He's like, he's like trying to like motivate a snail to keep moving forward by dangling a squid, uh, squig or not squig, nurgling in front of him. <laughs> Grow a tongue, stupid! Just grab it. Yeah, he's pretty. He probably is cooler than the Carrion Rider from Room Wars. This thing's got the potential to be quite a lot of pieces. For sure. And I think, for the most part, that is most of the stuff that went down this weekend. We got FAQ, we got Plague Wars, Star Wars news. Didn't have anything too crazy preview from GW. It looks like another in-between week. Now, if I was a betting man, I would say that Games Workshop putting out the Blight Wars box is kind of greasing the skids for a perhaps a 40k release for the Death Guard following Labor Day weekend, which remember this new uh, Plague Wars box, Blight Wars, will be out Labor Day weekend. It looks like Gary on meth. Oh, Gary from uh, SpongeBob. 
<laughs> Why do I know this? It sure does. Yeah, I think that thing's pretty sweet. All right. Let's check the gallery here. Exclamation point gallery. Share your work with us. I've actually got some stuff in there. Some of the base. Uh, some of the basing we did. For the warrior demon. Speaking of warrior demon, let's go over there. Let's lay down some paints real quick and do some more. Do some more talking. All right, there he is. So that's kind of where we left off last week. So we got... Everybody see this okay? How's this picture looking for everybody? Is it too blown out or... It looks super bright on my end. That's what I do. That's what I'm... I drink and I know things. That's why I am concerned. Somebody let me know how this picture is looking, if it's too, too bright. I know it comes through a little bright on my monitor. Uh, this, what kind of light is this? Um, I don't, I should probably put that in the uh, description there. It's a daylight um, tube light. We've talked about it before on stream. I'll have to make an emoticon for it or a, uh, a command for it. I don't exactly know it right off the top of my head. All right, well, I'm just going to assume this picture looks good to everybody. It looks good on my uh, my iPad of power here. So, okay, so we did our pre-shading with Althan Gray because it's got that gray with a little bit of blue in it, right? Ooh, that's blown out. That's a little too bright. All right, let's turn it down a little bit. Uh, JP Gray, I think my Necrons are not going to make. Not going to make 40k great again. Let's try that. <laughs> it's in the great. I know you can see nothing because you're saving data, which makes sense. Okay, I think that's the best we're going to get. All right. So we worked this up. Ulthan Gray for pre-shades. A bunch of burnt umber in here to get that nice brown. But we still have all of our contrast and everything, right? <laughs> Don't you use logic on me. So Nesh Demon? I don't know. That'd be nice. Valkyrie 44. But I think what Black Library does has no bearing for, for the most part on... Uh, what G-Dub does in general. Okay, so here's the question. I want to paint this guy red, and we didn't we didn't do reds on stream uh, for this guy here, Mr. Dragon Cat, for you guys. So we can either do like a nice rich red like this if you want, or we can just use the normal G-Dub reds on this. Or we can do something a little even more different and use the P3. Uh, work it up with some Sanguine. Work it up with some Kador. Throw in some oranges. So you want to see maybe a little bit more pop? Or do you want to see something kind of like this? Now, I would, me personally, I kind of want to see some pop. Because I want to see the red on this Warrior Demon. When I look at it, I want to see red, and then everything else, I kind of want to see an accent of. You know what I mean? So I feel like we should probably go with a red that's going to pop, which will probably be... Mm, which could probably be the P3s. Brass Claw, this is the... Uh, this is Warrior Demon from Creature Caster. 
comes on this dope base that we made up. This is actually in the work in progress gallery right now, like how I made this base, and I'll show this to you in a few. But it's got a pretty dope base, and then it's got some wings that slot in here. Like a soul, like a soul. So nice big wings too. Yeah, I definitely want to, I'm thinking of doing a nice, nice big vibrant red because it's the very, very first thing we want to see here. So that would be something like working it up with sanguine, kid or red. And we'll just throw in a random orange what we got. That would be, I think we can use some troll slayer, something like that. That should pop pretty good. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, maybe. Let's see if that jives with what y'all, what y'all are doing. So we'll we'll stew on that for a second. That's that's easy stuff. But I need to lay down some washes on a couple of things real quick for these storm casts. Oh, and we got the dope set of bomb wick brushes. These are Kalinsky Sable brushes from Slowfuse. You can check them out over on slowfusegaming.com. Now he did a bunch of different sizes and it, I don't know the reasoning behind it. I don't understand a lot of things, but I kind of like this brush, which I think is the number one, number one bomb brush right there. So these look pretty cool. How do I open it? Give it to me. Give it to me. So we're gonna try these out tonight. Give them a test drive. Sophie's. Let's check it out. Hmm. These look pretty fresh. Here's how it compares to our, where is it? Here's how it compares to our Artificer Layer Brush. It's about the same size. Mm, this brush has seen better days. <laughs> cool. This one looks pretty cool too. What is it? So it's a longer bristle. Oh, it's got a little, definitely a longer bristle. Man, what the heck? Cut that bad boy off. A little straggler, a little straggler piece. Hard to see when you don't have it under the light. Come here, you. Got him. All right, there we go. All betters. Okay, I'm stoked to play with these. So these are probably gonna be the two brushes we're gonna try out tonight. Not that I don't like the rest, Actually, what's this number two? This could be a good base coat brush. Ooh, that might be a good base coat brush. Nice and pointy. This is number three. All right, these are the three brushes we're gonna use tonight. <laughs> I, I reserve the right to backpedal at any time. Okay, so here's, so we're gonna go Sanguine, Kato Red, Troll Slayer, probably do some cutbacks with Burnt Umber on that guy. We'll get to that in a sec. We need to do a little bit of base coating. Now, metals, I'm really digging on uh, Army Painter. I've been having awesome luck airbrushing with them. They always go on good because they're nice and watery. They put a little bit extra, um, they put a little extra in there. Uh, Shining Silver is a great color to base coat with, and then uh, go back over with a wash. So we're gonna start with that. 
real quick and just do some quick base coats because we may have time to do a little bit of airbrush detail work on these guys. I want to do some dope glow effects. So I finished up the liberators here. Almost finished them. I forgot to do the metals over here. So I'm just going to show you a quick trick. So we're using the silver, shining silver from Army Painter. But you see, it just goes right on, right? This is a brand new brush. This is the Bomb Wicks from Slow Fuse Gaming. Nice and thin. I need a paper towel. Paper towel power go. There we go. <laughs> LT, are you and uh, Tim can catnap conspiring over there? I feel like you are. <clears throat> Did anybody check to see if the... Uh, the latency clock, the sniper protection's working. I did not notice when the donations were coming through. I was having some issues with it when I was testing out earlier today. Somebody keep an eye on it for me. I can't be trusted to remember these things. So base coating with the Army Painter paints, super easy. Their metals are amaze balls. I love them. Getting a really good stick over top of that really bright gold. These brushes are definitely liking them so far. This number three is great for base coating. For sure. I've been having a trouble finding a nice base coat brush that wasn't crappy synthetic junk so these seem to be filling that that role for me pretty good did everybody survive the eclipse apocalypse today i know here it was it just kind of like got a little dark out like i went and got some eclipse pizza gluten-free of course and I was sitting outside at a table because it cooled off. It was nice. Very classy. And, uh... What the f*** is the internet? It just got kind of... The internet is a kind communications of tool. Dim it's out. the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another. Sniper check, sir. Uh, I don't think it's working. Dang it. Oh, it's something. <laughs> LT, thank you for the donation. It is not working. We're going to have to manual that if it comes down to it at the end. Dang it. Base coating with Army Painter paints is secretly easy. Well, it is for me. And that's still one more name. Uh, so that's what I preach. Like, I don't care what, what paints are out there. There's like a million and one paints, right? Just find something that works for you. Like Kenny always used to make fun of me because I hated the Vallejo metals because they never worked for me. It just, it just didn't work for me. But I got this army paint. I got my hands on this army painter stuff. And I mean, I've always used. Oh, hey, there's the intro music. An hour late. Go home, intro, you're drunk. That might be my fault. I said it before I went to lunch. I was in a hurry to go get a Eclipse pizza. <laughs> I think uh Liz, I think you added catnaps to the wrong person. <laughs> that was supposed to go to LT. So yeah, there's our intro. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm Robbie B. The cat commander. Or whatever. No, yeah, no possible way we could have a stream. You guys would be proud of me today. Like, I started up the computer, did all my work, opened OBS. That's the software we use for broadcasting. It might actually be called, should be called POS. But everything was going good. 
and then it just didn't work and I'm like dang it this again and it like blue screens out my computer have to reset it I remember Parker helped me with the last one so I was like all right let me go update my video card drivers went and updated my video card drivers <laughs> tried to open OBS again of course it didn't work and I'm like hmm well, maybe I have to turn the computer off and then on again. So I did. And lo and behold, that actually made it work. It was magic. It was magical. Yeah, why can't you move? I tech supported myself. It was great. Huzzarin! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Just painting some Stormcast real quick. I'm going to do a quick wash. Get some, air, some air, airbrushing. We need to do a few washes actually. Have those drying while we do the airbrushing so we can come back and do some stuff over top of them. Why are those AOS and not 8th edition Ironwares? Well, you see, in 8th edition Ironwares, they should be called Exoskeleton Warriors because that's all they're good for apparently. Um, <laughs> now, you know, I'm torn on my, I'm torn on my arm works because I spent all that time painting them by hand, you know, 15 years ago. And then I airbrushed them up a couple years ago as well. And it's like almost impossible to match anything when you airbrush it in batches. But I think I can match. But the problem is that if I start adding things, it'll look like airbrushed. It won't go in with all my line highlighted stuff from way back in the day, right? So I'm kind of torn. It's like, what do I want to do? Somebody redeem? Redeem six. Oh, it played the played the song, but it didn't do the. Tend to great with the first redemption of this month. Remember. Exclamation point redemptions. Get your redemptions in. Because cat naps will reset at the end of the month. But we'll have something dope. If you got fractions of cat naps, you want to throw them at something, we'll have uh, some sort of giveaway next week. Is live genuine vision? <laughs> I think so. Is this real life? What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Everybody give genuine a click follow. I'm buying you a pizza. <laughs> I'm buying you a pizza. Lando with another redemption. That's two. Who else has got them catnaps? Don't let those catnaps expire. Don't let them take a permanent cat nap. Remember today, nine cat nap lives. Every donation of $9.99 will get you a bonus 99 cat naps. Today and only today. And then you can redeem to your heart's content. Base coding is secretly tedious, but you got to do it. But you can see, I mean, this this army painter paint. This is a shining silver. This is pretty bright. It's got a great stick over the gold, so it'll definitely go go well over a black or something like that, right? I love army painter. Well, I love their metallics for sure. Haven't really worked with mm, a lot of their other colors, to be honest. Their sprays are great because they match. Uh, I used a lot of their sprays for basing and stuff. Like, um, what is it? Desert yellows. Great color. Their desert yellow spray is awesome. All oh, the reds are really good too. Like, if you want to use the red sprays. 
great way to get an army up and going fast. I remember I helped my buddy paint his whole army in a weekend using the dips, but now they don't, now they're using washes instead of dips, so it's a little bit easier to work with. Man, that, that base coat brush, what is this? Number three? It's pretty good. Another pizza. Who did that? Love minis. Awesome. Oh yeah, make sure you, uh, if you redeem, whisper me real people name, real people address, so we can get that out in the mail to you. We did not ship out anything last week. Hopefully everything will be out by the end of this week. For everyone. And then we'll be getting to all the Patreon stuff next week. Okay, so we did. All right, so while those are drying, I'm gonna give start a wash on some other stuff. So let me show you this real quick. Now, none of these are wash brushes, so we're gonna put these off to the side real quick. Let's grab us a nice wash brush. I, I prefer chisel brushes for my washes. This is one of my favorite. This is actually, oh no, I thought it was Army Painter. This is a Reaper. It's got a nice little chisel point there. So check this out. We painted up the, the wings. Uh, refaded this and we glazed these to get that great fade. Actually, that doesn't, that doesn't look right. Hmm. I guess it looks okay. Yeah, I guess looking at the looking at the uh, the video, it looks good. Okay, so we painted these up, and we had to go back and highlight all the gold, and we used the G Dub golds. Oh, by the way, like this, all the colors we're using for the Stormcast that we've been working on off and on stream and such this is all straight out of the how to paint stormcast guide so when we do some giveaways for some of this stuff you're like well i don't know i might not be able to paint it the cool thing is that you can just pick up the how to paint stormcast guide and it literally shows you exactly what we did so we gave it a wash or a wash in here of Rexland flesh shade but to get it to stick we added a little bit of normal Druchi Violet because it's a great complementary color with gold and they got it to stick in there because the gloss is a little bit thinner and it, it kind of pulls out a little bit but when you add in regular wash it helps with the stick but the problem was which you're about to see is that the rest of the storm casts or the prosecutors right here need a little of that richness because I used that purple and you can tell the uh, this the, the 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 models the stormcast model themselves are not as rich as the wings, so we gotta give them a quick glaze, and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about uh, to get them up to up to par here. That's right. So. Real quick, let me show you some of that. So we're gonna use our Rexland Flesh Shade Gloss. Boom, great stuff right here. Oh shoot, I don't have poster tack. Oh wait, there we go. A little bit of poster tack. Pro tip, put a little poster tack. Oh, we need more poster tack. That way you don't drop this stuff. There we go. Oh, let me show you guys something too. Recent Ikea trip discovery. Can I show it there? Let's check it out. So I went to Ikea uh, twice. I had to do some exchanges. There you go, you can see it. Ikea has this, uh, this really cool little metal drawers. It's a six drawer, one, two, three. Yeah, there's six of these things. It's a steel, it's got rollers. And what's cool about it is, like I don't know if you've seen in the past, I had those Buster plastic uh, Walmart tubs. This is actually steel and it holds the little G-Dub uh, lids. Like I have all my paint and lids divided up. Like this is, this is these are washes. Oh wow, look at that, Devlin mud. Mm, relic from the past. So this is all hot o Devlin. Good Lord. That's probably worth like its weight in gold, hobby gold. Uh, <laughs> so this is all divided up by like washes. And we've got uh, Vallejo Game Air right here. So you can just quickly grab anything based on the brand it is. And it's sorted out pretty well. I've got a lot of, got a lot of paints. I have a paint issue. 
I swear some of these I don't even need. But great way to store your paints, all the P3s and the G-Dub technicals are at the bottom. But for 35, 35 bucks for that, not a bad little deal, I feel like. So if you're at Ikea and you're looking for something to put, or just have like a little utility cart around your Beats Lab, that thing might be pretty good instead of spending 20 bucks at Walmart to get that plastic piece of crap. <laughs> yes, that was a that was a pants sighting. Okay. So we're gonna go let's make a quick glaze. Well it's not really a glaze. We're gonna grab some of this Reekslin. And I'm just gonna show you this to you on camera right here. But what I'm actually gonna mix this in the top of the of the box so we've got the gloss reekslin right and we're gonna take depending on the part probably one part to every four parts we're gonna add in a little bit of druchi violet which is just a straight non-gloss and you see how it makes it r richer right there like a lot richer so we're just gonna take that, and now we're gonna go over top of all of these prosecutors, just to get that nice richness in there that'll match their wings now. And we're just watching for all the glip glops and everything in there. But this is really easy. It flows, because it's gloss, it's gonna flow over everything. It's gonna be legit. You just gotta watch out for your glit gloss. And it's gonna bring that richness that we just saw on the wings. And hopefully, if we do it correctly, it's gonna match now. Firefighters kicking people out, oh no. Remember your training, Tim the Great, and you will survive. I don't want another blue. But. This should definitely, it's already starting to pop better. Instead of just being that kind of dull, boring, shiny gold, we're getting a little bit more depth here. Now we're just going to watch for glip clops. Because I'm going to have to do a mix up some more of this. What I wanted to show you in the. Okay. So we're going to mix. We're going to actually mix that right here in the top lid so we just grab that way I can just grab it a lot easier yeah <laughs> quick Tim the Great's gone time to lock up that top D well we got about $25 in donations it looks like till we had a cat box giveaway remember we got lots of cool stuff on there tonight we got the new Inceptor, Primaris Marines, multi-part kit. We've got, oh, we got this. We need to talk about this. We've only got two of these left, but we got the Spiky Bits paintbrush holder in orange ABS plastic, I believe, with the Spiky Bits logo. You can take it anywhere, it breaks down. I have a portable one I take with me, but it breaks down, it'll ship to you mostly flat. That's on there. What else we got on there? Magma Droth is the top D giveaway. Uh, I think there's custodies. Whatever the scrolling the scrolling thing he says. Whatever the scrolly thing he says. All right, so now we mix that a good liberal batch of that up in the lid. And we'll finish this guy off. And while all this is drying, we'll do some airbrushing. Get 
Uh, can we ship that paint? Um, you can ask James about that. He, I'm not sure on the legalities of that one. He's the one that made it. Or printed it, rather. LT. Long story short, I definitely don't have said files. Personally. So we're just getting in here, coating over all of the armor area. So drawing that depth. We're not using any of our slow fuse brushes. Maybe that's a suggestion I'll make to him. Slow fuse wash brush. There we go. Remember, if you're new to the stream or just lurking, give us a follow. Get your free cat naps. You can throw them into some of the giveaways we do here. There'll be a big one next week. Get those redemptions in. We'll be resetting all the catnaps for September here soon. Oops. That was a big glit clop. You don't want none of that. You don't want none of that. That little guy. You don't want that guy. Sophie's nose not washes. Mm. Gotta give the people what they want. I'm the people. I'm a person. Okay, I think we're good on this guy. So, nice. Let's see if it matches real quick. Grab a set of wings. Oh, girl, you look shiny. Look at that. So shiny. That definitely matches up now. Nice, rich transitions. I'm stoked. Yeah, I want candy boobs. Jason can't use wash tag. It's so dry in Arizona that washes turn to dust. Is that a real thing? DK Punk, thank you for the follow. Claire Ma Claire Millette, thank you for the follow as well. All right, so let's wash these other two. Let's get some airbrushing. Uh, we also have some really cool <laughs> show and tells. I don't know where they went. That's not good. Oh, I do know where they went. Okay. <laughs> All right, again, we're just doing a little bit of dirty Violet. One part dirty Violet for four parts of gloss, and gloss is the key here, Rieksland Flush Shade. Just straight over this this armor mix from the G-Dub How to Paint Stormcast book. Give it that dope richness that we've been looking for. Mostly all our lives. If you play D&D 5th edition, you could play a tabaxi cat person as a race. <laughs> What's the fat co on that? I remember a time. PC load letter? What does that mean? <laughs> me, 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 me. BZ TZ one two three four. I see what you did there. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Oh, get out of there. Tweezer or cat hair alert or something. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. If you're just hanging out lurking, make sure you give us a follow. Every 50 follows we get in stream, we give out bonus cat naps too. Or every 20 subs and resubs, so. Get those subs and resubs in as well. Not only do you get catnaps for that, but hey, you might get some bonus ones too. Where are we at in the counter? We're getting there. We are getting there. 
So we're just using this wedge brush just to kind of hammer in all the uh, all the washes and all the nooks and crannies. Dabbing it off while it's still wet, getting all those glip glops, Klingons out of there. I need to reset some two, three, four. So I do four dips of the Riesland. And I'll do one dip of the Jerchi Violet mix into the lid because I'm using it all. One dip of Jerchi Violet. There we go. If you want to share the miniatures you're working on with us, exclamation point gallery. Check out your work in progress, Beats Labs, Eats Labs, whatever you got happening there. So the reason we're giving this a little bit more richness is because we did the wings separately and didn't realize we kind of made them a little too rich getting the uh, Riesland Flesh Shade to stick. Adding a little bit of that Dirty Violet definitely does the trick to getting that gloss varnish to stick a little bit more. Not that it doesn't stick, but it works better in thinner coats, but you add a little bit. And you can do the same thing with you know, you could put in like a little Devlin mud or something, whatever you want to do. Not Devlin mud. Little Agrax. Uh, same effect, you know, depending on like if you're going over brass or something and you want kind of the same effect, that would definitely work. All around here. Back of the helmet. Hands. Okay. And now we're on the glue clock haunt. Uh, the engine fluid hoofed in is pretty good. I think it's a gloss, I want to say. I got a bunch of that stuff here, and I definitely want to work it into the lineup for sure. I haven't been able to mess with it quite yet. I know Kenny did that terrain piece uh, with a lot of different of the new ones. Okay, I think that's, I think we got all like look ops and things. There's a cat here right there. Oh well. There it is. Nice, good pop. Most of the, the secret weapon stuff is pretty good. Uh, there's kind of few and far between on the tutorials. Kenny's used a lot. And the last prosecutor, and we'll get some airbrushing. Put it over there. Keep these guys separate. Gotta keep them separated. There we go. Alright, last. Wash, actually, let me mix this up. One, two, three, four parts Rieksen. And I'm just mixing this in the lid of the wash itself and one part Dirty Violet. Because I'm probably going to use it all up. And if I get a little purple in there, it's not a big deal. It looks more blue turquoise. I figure it worked good on your Contemptors engine. Yeah, check out that video Kenny did with that uh, Aquila Lander, Rect Aquila Lander. He used a bunch of those technicals on it. That may help you out there with some of the effects and such. What the f is the internet? The internet is a communications tool used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another. Is that slow Don't fuse? You? No, I Catman. Hey yo, this crop just wanna say global warming is a bear. Professor Ghost Anus is a liar. What? What? <laughs> what? Clown? Strong words. How do you respond to that? <laughs> Wolf, thank you for the donation. 999. Nine catnap lives. Getting them bonus 99 catnaps today. I like it. Thank you both. So if you for the sub. 
and Wolf <laughs> for the donation. Hey, slow fuse. I was using your brushes. We're gonna we're gonna use them some more. I like the. Uh, I was using a one, two, and three. I like the three for base coating. But you notice that I'm applying this wash, and I don't have a slow fuse wash brush. It's very sad. I was like. So heartbroken. I don't have a slow fuse wash brush. If only there was a way that I need somebody to make brushes that could get me a decent wedge shaped wash brush in various sizes, of course. Real men don't wash. Do they Febreze? Like, what do they do? Like, what's the what's the strategy there? I was in the game store this weekend. Uh, there was a there was a tournament. I saw Ben Juice play test for uh upcoming tournament. And I had to listen to the uh the local game store kids. And I say kids, you know, they're I don't know, 20, whatever. <laughs> I guess I'm starting to be that get off my lawn kind of guy. But uh they're they're explaining their philosophy on how the, how they do or rather how they don't do laundry. And they're like, well, you know, I just kind of like wear my clothes for a while. And I don't really do laundry. I just like lay them out and hit them with Febreze. And I just walk around naked until I got to go somewhere. And then I put my clothes on. And at first I thought he was joking. I was like, oh, that was a pretty funny one. I, I like that. And as I kept listening to them talk, I realized that he was not joking. That was actually how he did his laundry. <laughs> so real men Febreze, I guess. It was, it was painful to listen to. Man wipes and Q-tips. We all need to survive in the wild world of painting. It's true. Fine. I don't want your slow wash brush anyways. PC load letter? What does that mean? All right, so now we brought that richness out on all three of these prosecutors. Check for glip glops. Glip glops good. Use the slow fuse ink brush. Slow fuse, you got an ink brush? Say it isn't so. What's an ink? Is that one of those old timey things? Okay. Prosecutors do. Thinning paints with man sweat. I like it. Okay. Single men for breeze. That might have something to do with them being single. Yeah, it could. It could definitely. Use fake hair brushes for those types of things. Okay, fine. We'll do it. We will do it. FL Frost. FL Frost Little Sis. <laughs> thank you for the follow and the Mr. Sauce. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna lay down some colors on this guy. That's that warrior demon from Creature Caster. What is that? Is that chip it? Well, that's awesome. Even Matt coded it. How does it chip right there? It's so random. I can fix it. Wave two, you got you got multiple waves. Dang, you're you're an overnight success. But yeah, those brushes I was using earlier, check them out. Sofusegaming.com. Strangely enough, monkey's doing it. We'll also get you there. We're gonna do some more, some more on that. Okay, so you guys voted. We're gonna we're gonna work it up from sanguine. Get that nice rich color. Switch it over to Kador. And then add in a little Troll Slayer at the end. For these reds. So let's turn the airbrush on and piss off the cats. Cause they need to we need to keep them on their toes anyways. 
unless they overpower us. I'm liking them so far. We did we did some base coating. I used the number three, number three brush. I think this one right here. Yeah, number three. This one's a sweet base coat brush, man. Digging this. Uh, I didn't do any detail work yet. Maybe that'll be next stream. I just wanted to finish up the airbrushing on this this bad boy. I'll lay down. We need to lay down some washes. Oh, actually, speaking of which, we didn't finish the wash. So we base coated these. Liberators, the hammer guys with the silver, but we need to. Where did we vote? I don't think we actually voted. Yeah, well, I think we just took suggestions from the from the studio audience. So we need to lay down the wash on this real quick, and we're gonna do not our purity tech. This is our this is our metal wash. It's Agrax Earthshade, non oil, and a hint of flesh tone. That's right, Tim the Great. Only fifteen dollars left in the next cat box. Remember, it's nine catnap lives. Every donation of exactly nine dollars and ninety nine cents gets ninety nine bonus catnaps today and today only. Um, all right, so let me grab. It. Coming darkness. What's happening? Welcome to the stream. So let's do this so this can dry as well. So we got this straight out of the pot, coming in hot over top of the silver. Trying to keep our glue clops to a minimum. And coating this whole bad boy. And the reason I'm doing this, you're probably like, why the heck do you even care about these stupid hammers? Because if there's a little time left, I want to do a little blue glowy glow on this area right in here to kind of tie the whole army together. I thought it would be pretty neat. Just to have a little OSL accent. Just to pop it, pop lock and drop it. There we go. Nice and hey, yo, this crop just want to say global warming is a bear. Professor Ghost Anus is a liar. Watch, 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 clown. Strong words. How do you respond to that? Stupid cat box. Totally not addicted and OCD. Tim, when are you coming over? <laughs> LT. I see what you did there. Thank you for the donation. Did I did I put us there? Uh, almost. <laughs> All right. I feel like it's on somebody else's shoes. If you guys want that cat box. Okay. So first wash done. Second wash. So I'm getting the steel done. and easy just filling in all the flat areas got to keep an eye on it so we don't get any glue clops or anything like that Last one, go back and check the glit clops. I find subconsciously when I'm when I'm painting these, I'm trying to hold the uh, trying to hold the miniature over the viewfinder, and it turns out that, that is not where the camera lens is, right? So it's like, ugh, why am I wandering off target?
viewfinder has absolutely nothing to do with it. It just shows me the picture. <laughs> I'll see you make a valid point, I feel like. I mean, I'm barely a streamer at this point. One night a week. But I love showing you guys some new techniques and the new hotness. New hotnesses that we're working on. All right, just going back. Give him a little second coat. Getting that real steel. A little bit of a click clop right there, but that's not bad. This is gonna look great. Poopshoot.com. Did you say Jay and Saw Bob are quote fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? Let's get the kitty box. <laughs> Valkyrie 44. There you go. All right. You heard him. One more pass. One more pass. There is a cat box on the way. Going to do one more pass on these guys. <laughs> we love cat boxes. It's like playing the lottery. Well, the cool thing about it is, whatever you donate, at least you get catnaps, right? So you can use the catnaps for redemptions or for the raffles we do, for various prizes. And they trigger cat boxes. So that's always good. Okay, so now we got our medals done. So we can come back and do some cool stuff. If we got time today. Future-proofing the stream. That's what it's all about. Okay, real quick. Ah, I went too far. I rolled out of camera. <laughs> all right, so there it is. What do we got? One. Yep, one. Okay. Air, 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 air. Paint, 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 paint. <laughs> all right, let's set up this. Where's the bot? Where the bot at? Hoofton wants to know, would Tire Black from Secret Weapon make a good Raven Guard armor color? So, that's actually tough to paint straight over black, believe it or not. Uh, you'd have to pair it with like, another color probably. But it could, it would just be a little blue. It would just be a little blue. All right, so here's keyword raffle, bronze, silver, and gold. We checked it at the beginning of the stream, so everybody that donated previously should be at their VIP levels based on the chart over there at, I think you can check it out, redemptions, that'll, that'll get you in there. Exclamation point redemptions, it'll explain it all. Just giving a little back. Keyword cat box. I'm Lord Victor and I give respect. Your planet and your life is what I expect. Thanks for a great show. Hey, no worries. Thank you, Mason859. Alright, so let's do it for 30 minutes. Exclamation point cat box. Start the timer when I see entries. There we go. Exclamation point cat box get in on the very first cat nap on the night. I owe you guys a shot. I cannot tell you how much I want a shot. It's been one of those days. I was witness to the eclipse apocalypse. The epocalypse. Hope everybody survived. Just fine. It didn't get that dark here. I could still see. 
I was eating Eclipse pizza. I could still see to eat, so. <laughs> but it was definitely interesting. An older gentleman lent me his Eclipse glasses so that I could look. Because let me tell you what, uh, looking at it in your sunglasses, probably not smart. What it doesn't look that great. The internet. the internet is a communications tool used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another. Cats for the cat god. <laughs> Trego, thank you for the resub. Got the full three hairballs of the apocalypse here in the house tonight. And of course, cactus juice. Oh wait, this isn't cactus juice. This is pirate juice. Pirate juice. The eclipse apocalypse. Yep. Or the apocalypse, whichever. Both are the same thing. It's like LASIK, only in rever reverse, yeah. <laughs> Chase Wolf. Uh, sorry you got rained on, bro. It was super nice here. It cooled off for like an hour. Then it got blistering hot again. 50 entries already on the Cowbox giveaway. Thank you guys so much. Here we go. Cheers. Ah, delish. Socrates, you live in Clarksville, Tennessee. One of my favorite places in the world. You in the 101st, bro? I love it down by the river there. <laughs> down by the river. I used to go out there a lot. Down there in Nashville and stuff. <clears throat> I miss traveling. All right. Let's get back to it. If I win, donate it to LT. Oh yeah, I heard there was new starships coming out. That's cool. No worries, Tim. Oh, that's what's up, Socrates. Which one's Second Brigade? Is that... Is that Curry or what is that? I don't know. Rocket sounds. Cell phone in selfie mode. Oh, that's a neat trick. I didn't even think about that. To watch the eclipse. Oh, artillery. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, I live, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the stream, but I live right next to Fort Bragg. And, uh, they do a lot of ops in the, the drop zones and stuff out here. I'm on the, the west side of base. So every now and then we hear the, the helicopters here at the new place. And uh, they definitely have some artillery out there from time to time as well. Sounds like. Valkyrie wants to know when I'm coming to Lynchburg, Virginia again. I don't know, but I definitely enjoyed it. That was the only... Man, they had $3 Long Island iced teas at the B-dubs there. I was like, are you kidding me? They're only three dollars and she's like yeah and i was like i didn't of course it dawned on me later on when i got carted at the mall that uh it was like a, a religious town and i was like why are you carting me i was like some some security guard came up to me he's like can i see your id i was like absolutely not what is your problem <laughs> he's like he's like it's it's school hours you have to be 18 to be in the mall and i'm like that's ridiculous and then I realized later on when I went to the B-dubs and they had $3 Long Island iced teas that I was going to reap the rewards <laughs> of this dry town. Well, it wasn't dry. It's just not as moist as it should be, I suppose. But yeah, I don't know. I need to go back. I need to get out more. We're getting there getting there okay let's do some airbrushing so we got the wings and we got the body this is the base and we'll get to this at the in the gallery I got pictures of this how we made this I'm not sure if I showed it off in here 
but either way, we'll talk about it, hopefully. Okay. Get this up and running. Uh, flow improver. I know, LT, most people like, I need an ID that goes in reverse. I resemble that remark, Liz Gray. But seriously, to get carded at a mall? Like, are you kidding me? Come on, man. Is a Lynchburg, Virginia is a, a very religious town. That is 100%. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but if it interferes with me shopping, I tend to take offense. Yeah, I'm just here to get some food at the food court. Leave me alone. All right, let's get our buster brush out here. I did get uh, ID'd, shoot, where's that? I did get ID'd to buy Halo, which Halo was it? Halo 2? I don't know, so one of the Halos, I wanna say it was Halo 2. Midnight release, Walmart. I got ID'd to buy Halo 2. Couldn't even tell you what year that was, maybe 10 years ago. And the guy that was ID'ing me, I actually went to high school with. And I was like, I was like, are you serious right now? I thought he was like messing with me. I thought he remembered me. I haven't really changed much, like how I look from high school. I thought he was messing with me. I remember the dude. I didn't remember his name, but I still remembered I had classes with him. But he's like, nah, seriously. I was like, bro, we went to high school together. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, and I started naming the classes. He's like, that's ridiculous. It's like, you're telling me. All right, so we got a little air improver in there. Good to go, check our pressure. Where's our pressure at? How many millibars we at? All right, let's see. We are at full blast. So we'll go about, we'll go like 75% millibars. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's see if we're just sucking on this. <laughs> Lotus Cobra got carded for Fallout 3. Dang. Welcome, welcome brother. So that's, let's thin this down a little bit more, just a little more. That was our sanguine. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be surprised. I think, I want to say Liberty University, the church, or Liberty itself owns the mall in Lynchburg. I think it's like, because I think there's a tunnel underneath the highway to get over to the mall for the campus kids. I'm not 100% though. Washington State's pretty bad? Okay, it's fair. Oh, slow fuse. <laughs> you got profiled. What's it like to be an adult? <laughs> you actually clean up pretty good. I've seen pictures of you, you know, not all gray bushy. I mean, absolutely no offense by that term. All right, there we go. We got our sanguine. We're a little thin down. Right where I want it. Let's do this. Okay, so there's a sanguine P3 sanguine. And we're just going on top of the burnt umbers. For the most part now.
just to get that definition. But it's a little thinned down, so this is gonna kind of start it up, start the transition. But it's thin enough that the browns are still gonna like lend its uh, depth, you know. So we're just gonna start at this this particular plane and kind of work it up. Now I'm really eager, personally, to start experimenting with some of the Army Painter paints. I haven't worked with them in the past uh, as far as the the actual colors go, right? Like, yeah, I use the metals. I think the metals are dope. Super stoked for the metals. But I haven't really worked with any of the colors besides like some of the stuff that I kind of color match for uh, my uh, Iron Warriors and such like some of the browns and such. So maybe at some point we'll do, we'll tinker around with that because I know they got some paint sets coming out for like Rune Wars and I imagine for this new Star Wars game because they're working pretty close with FFG. So this is just the build up, that natural progression working towards some dope reds. We're just using Sanguine. But still leaving all the darker areas. Just working it up from the same plane so we don't have to keep flipping back and forth. I'm thinking some bone for the sword, for this hilt, like maybe some bone and then to steel, but like with some blues in it, maybe. It's kind of my thoughts there. What do you guys think? All right, so now we're switching to this plane, just laying it down nice. And these are, this is pretty watery, pretty watery sanguine. Uh, the cool thing I like about the P3 is that it works it works really well. Like you can thin it down. It works great. Flows really well. It's got good consistency, good pigments. Checking all these angles. Okay. Flip over to here. So we're working with. Hit it with a little air here. It's a little too wet. There we go. You can always push a little bit of air without paint because if you have a dual action airbrush, right? Uh, this is the Awada Eclipse. It's a it's a great airbrush. Like a lot of people come in and they're like, "Hey, what's a good you know beginner airbrush startup set?" And I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> just buy the good stuff, man. Like you can't wreck it." If you buy crap, you're gonna have to replace it. It's just like any tool out there. Don't buy crap. You wanna fight dragons, don't get burnt. You wanna airbrush, don't buy crap. And there's so much crap on the market, it's hard to cut through the chafe. But uh, if you get this, or there's some there's uh, some Grex, I think it's the HG, I wanna say. The HG is pretty good, I've used that in the past. Great airbrush. Uh, those I definitely recommend. Oh, there's some other stuff out there that people swear by, like uh, stuff I've never used, but you know what, at the end of the day, <laughs> I've only used two airbrushes that have done really well for me, and I feel like that's a win. So check the reviews on anything, honestly, before you buy it, but just don't buy crap.
you want to pay particular attention to the face area because that's where everybody always looks, right? Kind of looks like like inside out, like summer. <laughs> Reverse summer from last night's Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, definitely use the 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. Great, great tip right there. All right, I think we got all our angles. Let's switch to the wings real quick. Again, super easy. Super thin mix, just going over the burn umber. Burn umber is there to bring out the flavor. Now there's a there's a dragon we got uh, from Creature Caster that I kind of want to paint a little mountain dragon guy, kind of maybe some gecko colors. Definitely thinking about that for the future. But I think it's gonna be a couple projects in front of it. Things are starting to stack up here that I want to work on. Try to get some dope tutorials out there. Nice and thin. So this wouldn't look as good over black if we didn't hit it with that umber already. But it's all good, yo. It's all good, okay. Oh yeah, those tree walkers are nice. I think we gave away one of them. Hmm, we did a review on them. Oh, I sent I sent one of them out. That's right. I think we still have one here. We, got, we definitely have some uh, Sylvaneth to paint at some point after these storm casts, maybe. Yeah, those are great models. Creature Casters really got some good looking stuff. The Lady of Strife is pretty cool too. So again, this is P3 Sanguine. Just going over this burnt umber. We laid down last week, give it that nice rich depth. Uh, there's a couple different ways to attack things, like you can do... Uh, you can do... Uh, Mephiston Red, up to like a, like a Wazaka, or probably a, like a Wild Rider. I think Wild, Wild Rider is what we've used in the past. That's a pretty good combo. Uh, mix in a little Troll Slayer Orange, top it off at the end. I think that is the video we have out right now over on uh, YouTube. So there's our... Oh no! <laughs> A city sister and Dustin Pancakes. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Okay. So it looks like we got our wings base coded. What time is it? 10.01. Okay, cool. 
plenty of sanguine to spare. So what we're gonna do now is clean out the pot. We have a little buster station right here. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. It looks like it went through. I, I really prefer using the P3 stuff over the GW airs because you can see like there was no clogging, there was no nothing. Like it was all good in the hood. So I'm gonna leave a little sanguine in the pot. Just to kind of keep the color together, but I still wanna make sure we keep this reservoir clear so we don't get any Klingons in there. And of course, we need to brush the tip out with our plastic bristle brush. Yep, there we go. Okay. All right, next up is gonna be a little K-Door. Let's throw some uh, flow improver in here. It's good. I should probably put a ball bearing in here. Let's do that. So there's our K-Door, nice rich red. It's very, very orangey red, very fiery red. Let's put a ball bearing in here. Those are, um, I wanna say they're a quarter inch diameter. Ball bearings, you can get them off of uh, stainless steel ball bearings. You can get them off of Amazon. Ooh, made a mess. Now, I'm not going to put that much in here because we might have to mix this with sanguine 50 50. <sighs> It's gonna be hard to say. Oh, I caught it with my airbrush. No worries, I caught it with my airbrush. Back flush it a little bit. And let's mix it up. Six mil? That sounds incredibly specific. What the heck, do I have Facebook open? Why do I have Facebook open? That needs to stop. That's dangerous. Usually I get a million billion messages a day. Not an actual number. Okay, we're good. We're clear. <laughs> Jason has glass balls. That explains so much. No, I did not get them in my order. Clearly my papers are not in order. Slow fuse. All right, we're gonna turn this down a little bit more. A little bit flow improver, make it a little bit more thinner. Okay. All right, pressure down. So, make sure we got no paint on our hands, okay. Let's see where this goes. So we need to pull it up a little bit. So there's our hit it with a little air. Just the tops of the muscles, leaving enough room for some fiery red. Load letter. What does that mean? What do you think? PC load letter. What does that mean? Do a few more, give you something for comparison. Keyword raffle closing in five minutes. Exclamation point cat nap to get in on that one. So, let's see, how's this look on camera? Yeah, it looks good. 
It's a very starting to be a very bright red. We're gonna mix a little orange in with this and definitely make it pop. I'm okay with this. So now we're just gonna go through and just hit the areas that would naturally be uh, lighter, I guess. And hit it with a little bit more air. Now some of this we're going to come in and do some highlights with, uh, I don't know, like actual, uh, use the brush and actually get in there and do some bone detail, some demonic bone. What the f is the internet? The internet is a communications tool used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another. Good to have you back. Part-timer. <laughs> Jay Bananas. Thanks, man. One night a week. It's all good. We put in work. We do good things, I think. Allegedly. Bringing up that reds. Nice, dope muscles. The dope is some muscles. Subs feed cats? I have no say in this. Nope, you don't. <laughs> Hope you're not a dog person. I'll be honest, I, I like streaming. I really do. Uh, but to do it at the level that me and Kenny and Slowfuse, mostly Slowfuse and Kenny do, um, I mean, Keylime too, like, Keylime's got a great setup, uh, fantastic painter, super quick, amazing, <laughs> I wish I painted as fast as Keylime, but it takes a lot of prep, you know, and I just don't have that kind of time with, you know, putting out... We put out 15 articles a day on Spiky Bits, um, 40 videos a month on average, 30 to 40, mostly 40. It's been 40 since 8th edition. So, just trying to keep that, uh, trying to keep that happy medium, you know, and have some time off. Don't burn out the Robbie B. So this red is really starting to look good. Now we're going to have to do cutbacks. And I'm not sure we're going to have time to do cutbacks on camera today after we do the orange because we still want to get I still want to get to the gallery. Still want to show you guys some dope stuff we got. Um but we are going to cut it back probably with some burnt umber in the cracks just to make it you know not as red. But there's there's actually a lot let's see I'm trying to see if it's showing through me, 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 me. oh wow the lag is real or the delay is real i feel like yeah there's still a lot of definition it's showing through on the camera okay okay i see it uh there's still a lot of definition in the red which is good it's not just all like uh a super red mess but you can always go back and cut max and that's what that's part of what kind of separates the more talented folks with the airbrush I guess than the everybody that's just like hey I got an airbrush let me paint stuff it's a little bit you know more technique and a lot of that is just taking the time to go back and cut in transitions with your original color I feel like, but you know, I could be wrong. If you're okay with just a bunch of airbrush work, then that's awesome for you. It's just a, a little bit not the standard I'm at. Again, don't let anybody tell you how to hobby, man. 
Like, this is your hobby. Do what you want. Okay. So there's all that. I think for the most part we got all the reds. Uh, we're gonna get to some gallery stuff here shortly. Exclamation point gallery. Share what you're working on with us. Your eats labs, your beats labs. Let's get these wings. Gotta be careful here though. Just wanna hit the top areas. Just kind of greasing the skids for a little bit of orange highlight transitions. Yep, one more stream this month. Get those cat naps. Tonight's a good night. If you want to pick up uh, some cat naps for the nine cat nap life promotion. Every donation of exactly $9.99 will net you 99 bonus catnaps. And next week will be the last week before catnaps reset for September. Our reds, more reds over here. Somebody's not redeeming right. <laughs> Is the cat box giveaway still going? Or did it end? Oh, it ended? Okay. Cool, we'll draw another one. Or, we'll draw that, and then uh, if we get another one, we get another one. Alright, there's that wing. So, let's see, what time is it? 10, 15. Um, so, we'll probably finish this airbrushing. We'll add in a little orange. Finish that up. Check the gallery. Do some show and tell there. We've got some show and tell. Some dope products. Show you guys. What does that mean? There we go. <laughs> we got a redemption. Woo! Yeah, John Bingham. If you're curious about the redemptions, new to the stream, check out exclamation or type in exclamation point redemptions. That's a little heavy. Uh, I'll tell you everything you need to know there. Flip this around. Get this right. Right there. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. <laughs> you need a full four, four OZs. Trying to get that four OZs, that, that QP. Feel you on that. I got your QP. I keep it downstairs. 
where it's nice and cold. <laughs> that's the basement. No, seriously, that's like all the only room I have for all that stuff. Okay, so we got some left in the pot. I'm just gonna pour it. Ah, no, nope. no, we're not. We're gonna add in a little Trill Slayer orange. Let's check our depth on this. How much we got in here? Mmm, decent amount. Okay, so we're gonna make that crazy. You ever mix mustard with ketchup? <laughs> this is gonna be that crazy color. That crazy fire. A sweet back black tar catnip. <laughs> Alright. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Let's see. Let's compare and contrast. Yeah, just a little more. I don't want to go too crazy with the uh, the orange cheese whiz here because it can get away from you pretty quick. Pretty quick. All right. That's that. We'll call that ketchup mustard. That's that ketchup mustard color. I'm serious. Try it. Next time you get a hot dog, mix your ketchup and your mustard. It'll make that color. I swear to God. Back flush. Uh, let's blow it out real quick. Getting food, Liz Gray. Are you getting Eclipse Pizza? I love Eclipse Pizza. All right, let's crank this up to 100 millibars. There we go. Maybe down to 75. Down to 50. <laughs> LT, is that science? Okay, so now we're just gonna go towards the very top of all the muscular musculature. What does that mean, my master? It's a disaster, Skywalker, what after? What if we can be turned to the dark side? Yes, it'd be a powerful ally. Kyle Wright, thank you for the donation. <laughs> Enjoy those catnaps. Make sure you get all your redemptions in by the end of the month. Exclamation point redemptions. Okay, how's this look on camera? 15 second delay starts now. Hey look, there's me painting that I did 15 seconds ago. Chef Mike, uh, you spelled it wrong, Liz Gray. It's, it's Chef, uh, Chef Mike is spelled M-I-C. It's short for microwave, everybody. Chef Mike is my personal cook. Um, I'm kind of feeling this. I think I think it's showing through on the camera. Okay. Uh, KJ Wright, so can you sign in to Streamlabs? Like, how does that work? I don't know. All right, let's knock this out. I think if you sign in, it just it just does things. We're just going towards the very tops, building up that transition that we've already laid down. This is very thin, so if we have to, we can fan it out with a little air. Uh, super thin, we can just finger race it. And then blast it out with a little air. We could even come in over top of this with a little of just the orange itself. Which I may do off camera. I don't think we're going to have time for it tonight. Like I said, I just wanted to lay down these reds to show you guys. Because I didn't leave you with a, a good red tutorial from the Ixion Hail. We did that on YouTube, so I kind of felt bad. But it is in the VOD, so 50-50, uh, not that bad.
And we're just going through and working. Of course, we're going to hit all these striations and things. Yeah, I want cheesy poofs. Kay Kensington, thank you for the follow. All right, so we're gonna draw another cat box, uh, or we're gonna draw the cat box here as soon as I'm done with these, this uh, this color. We got about got about 25 minutes, 35 minutes left in the show. And we're gonna hit the gallery, exclamation point gallery, and show you a couple of cool products we got in the mail uh, a lot of cool products I don't know I don't know what we're gonna have time to get to but we're gonna get to something uh, but we got looks like we got about $65 the next cat box you guys want to unlock that We'll draw that towards the end of the show. Oh, let me head up here too. Remember, get your redemptions in for your catnaps by the end of the month. Next week will be our last show. I think we got everything on this plane. Yep. What happened there? I'll have to fix that later. Or fix it now, whichever. And get the tops of the muscles. Top of this muscle. Top of this muscle. I don't know. I guess that's the butt muscle. I don't know what that is. Oh, no, no. Muscleologist. I don't know what that is. All I have is hobby muscles. I don't know real muscles. Okay. All right, I think we've done a pretty good job with our skin tone here. Now, here's, oh, let me get those wings real quick. I'm just gonna get the, the highlight spots, aiming more towards just the areas that we highlighted earlier. I don't want to overpower anything here. The contrast is going to be more from like the blacks and such. So we're just going towards the tips and things. That's gonna, that's, when we glaze that down and uh, start to highlight it, hyper highlight it with things, this is gonna really pull through. This is just a rough, uh, kind of like the, oops, this is the rough, oh man, a little bit of a clog, let's see. There we go. Uh, Hoofton, 
trying to make a really, really light wash. I like to use, I mean, you can use the flow improver if you want. Um, if you don't have that, you could use, water is not, it's not gonna get you there 100%. Uh, Cause, uh, you're gonna have to keep the, the paint binded together. And that's really, you just wanna increase like the viscosity instead of like uh, separating the paint from the, the binder, you know what I mean? Or the pigment from the binder, which is what all acrylic paint's made out of. So, I think what you probably want is some sort of, you need some sort of, like a future floor wax or like a um, matte medium, Lamia medium, you know, Liquitex stuff, whatever, whatever your personal preference is there. Water's good to a point, but it's not gonna, it's gonna start separating your your binder from your pigment, and then that's not gonna it's not gonna flow right. You know what I mean? At least that's my personal take on it. Not an actual chemist or anything like that. Okay, so there's our wing. It's gonna look great here soon. Uh, KJ, just uh, send send a, a whisper to Liz Gray, 87. Um, Hoofton, yeah, that'll work. That'll work better than just water. I would mix that 50-50 with water. See, see if you like it. See where you're at on that. Okay, flip this over. Just tips coming in from that where we've painted already. And working down to where we have those highlights at. At the tips of the everything. And down to here. There we go. What's my go-to black? What, for painting or for airbrushing? John Bingham. Liz Gray, he, he, he mixed up, he messed up his login. I think he just has it on, a, on the wrong account. If you can just take it off the one account, he should whisper you. Okay, so now we're done with our reds. Let me clean out this airbrush real quick. I'll show you some of that if you haven't seen it already. Let me move all this stuff. So much, so many things, so many places. Close up. So we got our buster sink here. Using brush, no air. That's fine, John Bingham. room for everything gosh okay perfect okay so we're just gonna blow a little bit of water down into this with our gooseneck brush get all the majority of stuff out of here now if I hadn't mixed this I would have just poured it back into the uh, Decatur red but since we got some of that troll slayer in here and we're just gonna get our pluck foam just get in there get the majority of the clip cops off Flush it back out. Boom. Try to get the outside before all this crap dries. We got a bunch of crap everywhere. And that's what this uh, plastic bristle brush is good at too. Like you can just get in here and 
You don't have to worry about like messing up uh, the coating on the outside or anything like that. There it is. I heard it that time. It's still a little too low though. S3 Lin4391. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Just cleaning our airbrush here. Uh, make sure you hit exclamation point info. Find out all the cool stuff we got going on in the stream here. If you're just lurking out there, not sure you want to give us a follow. Just hit that follow button. Get 100 catnaps. You can enter some of our giveaways. Uh, we're about to do a cat box giveaway here in a second. As soon as we get this cleaned out. And then we're going to go over to the gallery. Share your work in progress. There we go. I think we're... Let's pull out this needle here. Black Wolf. U96, what's happening? Hadn't seen you in here before. Welcome to the stream. Make sure you drop us a follow. Microwave recipes, that doesn't sound like me. Chef Mike is good enough for me. Although I've been using the, the toaster Ovan uh, a lot lately. We've been getting a lot of... Um, there's a place up the street that has some phenomenal chicken wings. For a very decent price. So we've been bringing those home and warming them up the next day. There is a way to make eggs. I love um, I love de deviled eggs for real. I'm like giddy for deviled eggs, but it just I don't eat them quick enough, so I never make them. It's the same thing like why I don't I don't buy like salad stuff because it would never get ate. I never it goes bad before I eat it all. Maybe I need roommates. I don't know. Just food just goes bad. Okay, there we go. We got a pretty pretty clean airbrush. I think we're good to go there. Put our cap on here. Oh, I love the crock pot. Crock pots, what's up? Make the make that gamer gamer chili. Okay, so just to recap real quick on the airbrushing part, we worked it up from sanguine. Uh, to Kador Red, and then add in a little bit of Slayer Orange. We'll probably add just some straight Slayer Orange. Very thin over top of it to fade it up off camera. Uh, and then cut it back with our Burnt Umber from Vallejo, which is right here. So we'll do uh, probably do all that off camera. Ooh, we need to buy another Burnt Umber. Uh, but that's kind of where we're at on Mr... Warrior Demon from Creature Caster. A lot more work to do on this guy. We're gonna work up the armor. It's gonna be like a, uh, how did that even happen? <sighs> Where does fuzzies even come from? <sighs> okay, well anyways. <laughs> Hello to Scobra, sounds like way too much commitment. We don't like commitment here. Let's be honest. Okay. Well, that was fun. Bossatron36, thank you for the follow. All right, let's draw us a winner. Talk about some stuff, some things. Some things and stuff. Okay. Where's our... Where's our snare? There we go. That's not it. That's it. Okay. Going over to the raffle. All right, everybody, get off the pot. <laughs> I know how you do. You hear there's a, there's a giveaway. You all disappear. We're about to draw a winner. You got to be here for this one. K 
KJ Wright, you want to use the uh, you want to use the flow improver, bro. Definitely. Yeah, everybody, stop pooping. Come back. We're giving things away now. <laughs> it is the five o'clock free crack giveaway, or soon to be. All right, here we go. Without further ado. I gave you a 15 second lead time. Oh, let me turn the airbrush off. The cats hate the airbrush. They literally hate it. I think I'm about to get it. Cat attack tonight. <sighs> Dirty dark. I will not pick you. Well, I might pick you. I don't know. Hard to say. Five o'clock free cat giveaway. Here we go. Drawing a winner. Drink. Oh, wow. That was random. <laughs> Obligatory rigged. <laughs> Hype up, Draco. <laughs> I feel like we're in an Old Spice commercial. Why does it do that over and over? Ridiculous. <laughs> uh, one day I'll figure out how to actually rig things. 20 minutes left on the top D. Oh my goodness. Where does the time go? All right, Drago, you know how this works. Let's jump over to Catbox Giveaway. Let's see what we got. Anyhow. All right, here we go. Lots of stuff in here today. Oh, there it is. Spiky bits brush holder. How you feeling about that? You want to? Yeah, I have seen Old Spice commercials. Here it is. Only two left. You want to claim yours, and you want to reactivate for two hundred catnaps. What do you say? You like it? Okay. Uh, let me notate this properly. Drago. Drago. Got it. All right. Would I deface it? Permanently deface it? Sure. Uh, do I have a permanent defacer here? I'll, def I'll deface it for you right now. Here we go. I'm doing my part. Oh look, it's I'm our it's a part. it's a unique one right there. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> it has been defaced and is currently drying. <laughs> LT with the redemption. Everybody's redeeming today. All right. All right. Okay, let's take that off there. So one down, lots more to go if we get to it. If we get to it today, I don't know. Okay, let's go over to the gallery. We need to do some gallery stuff. Got a few in here, it looks like. Let me make sure there's no dicks in here. Uh, yep, no dicks. Okay, cool. Ah, wrong one. There we go. Alright, so first up, I don't know if you've seen these, but this is the base we did for the Warrior Demon. So we started out, we just glued it down to the 100 mil. Uh, then we added a little bit of cork. And then we added some Vallejo pumice. And then it dried. And that's where we're at after a, a vigorous black priming. KJ Wright, exclamation point gallery. We'll get you there. To the gallery, you can submit. Work in progress. Beats Labs, Eats Labs. All right. Now we got Brass Claw. PC load oh, this is one of those uh, Wrath Mongers, I think. Oh, Exalted Champion, okay. Oh, ported it over to 40K, okay, I see. 
does that mean? Oh, Megson, thank you for the resub. Sorry about that. Totally missed that one. A uh, bunch of folks coming through with follows. Bobby Flay. <laughs> Bobby Flay 6. Mouth 1. J Bishop 1 6. And J Smith 5 6. <laughs> thank you all for the follows. Welcome to the stream. We're just doing a little bit of gallery work here. Uh, and then we'll jump over. Do some show and tell stuff on this end real quick. All right, so Brass Claw, I like what you're doing here. Uh, you got some... The flesh tones work really well with the uh, metals, the metal trim you got going here. Nothing overpowers, like the skull helmet. Uh, obviously, you know you need to work on the base, but I think you're definitely getting there. Maybe pop out the reds a little bit. Right now, your eye kind of isn't drawn to any one particular thing. But again, it's a work in progress, so I don't know exactly where you're going with it. Side shot. Oh, he's holding the sword. Okay, now I see it. Dope. Uh, Vinglo. Ving, Vinglo? Vinglo. Let me know if I'm saying that right. Small chemical containers. From a pri Priolene can? I don't know what that is. All scratch built, save a few Hearst, Hearst Art bits. Oh, okay, so you casted, did some cold casting. Oh, I see that chicken coop wire. I'm feeling you on that. That's that's that secret tech. That looks like a lot of work, putting all those little uh, ladders in there, but this thing looks pretty sweet, dude. Can't wait to see it painted up. Backside. Yep, obviously need some paint, but it's looking fresh. Valkyrie working on the Age of Sigmar Dragon. Oh, it's very similar to kind of the scheme we're doing here. Oh, we just wait, was it today? No. Okay, it's rendered. I think it's next week. Oh, it's a small cookie can. Okay. That's a that's a big can of cookies. How I feel like that's bigger than small. We have a tutorial coming out on how to paint dragon skin. Very similar to the colors you used here, actually. Um, but we faded with the airbrush a little bit. But other than that, it looks very similar, actually, to uh, what we did with Dragon Cat. So, loving this. Uh, golds are looking good. Some nice non-metallics, it looks like. Can't wait to see the rest of it. I haven't put this one together yet, so I don't know if I'll ever get to him. <laughs> building the stuffs look at those fancy clippers you got there I don't know whose this is but it's super fans all the jet bikes all the time first ever airbrushing on a tree peoples that is some um, pretty good work nice muted earth tones I'm sure you're going to work it up to uh, crazy shades and stuff, but that is awesome for first time work. JP Gray, just some robot people, nothing to see here. Oh, and a Satan Lord. There you go. Painting robots is secretly easy. <laughs> just paint them metal and green. I uh, can't really get in there and see some close-ups but they're looking fresh I've got all those scale 75s you fancy more robot people even more robot people backwater terrain sky pirate is done I think we saw him last week but he looks more dunner <laughs> mustache guns how'd I miss those Very cool. Lots of gold. Gold everywhere. Two of them. Uh, the rest of your team, it looks like. These look like they're washed differently, though. Oh, maybe it's just the, the camera, because uh, Baron Hakonin back there looks uh, 
definitely looks a little bit more it looks like there's a little bit more death on his gold i like that i don't know why it's sideways j bananas repainting fifth edition models look at that those are looking good i like the contrast uh first off i like the crackle good crackle good good crackle hustle there the uh the grays are looking fresh looks like you got a couple scrapes there or maybe that's the maybe that's actually you highlighted it up it's hard to tell yeah hard to tell so it's all it's all very muted and very together i mean i like a little contrast maybe something to bring your eyes in and then you can see the rest of it's painted well so i'm not sure what Maybe you could go crazy reds on like the quills, the head quills or something, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how you can make this pizop. But it's looking good. I mean, Crutoxes are always dope. Rice cooker tapioca pudding. Is that, are you a wizard? What is this? This is wizardy. Sounds gluten free though, so I can get behind that. PC load letter. <laughs> Does that mean? Well, that was quick. That was a quick. Uh, PC load quick letter. All right, let's give it a refresh. See what mean? we got. One more. PC load Cartidos, letter. Carlitos, two nine zero zero eight. Vance Party Bot. JJ Smith, thank you all for the follows. Welcome to the stream. JK Wright, looking World Eaters fresh here. What is this, old World Eaters colors? Are these the uh, the Storm Elementals? What was that chapter they came up with? I forget their name. The new guys. Looks like you got a little bit of choppiness around that transition right there. Uh, that can happen a lot with airbrush. You want to make sure you get that. Uh, that tape pressed down pretty good Sometimes you just got to go in with a brush and just line it out probably I probably do it from the white side than the blue side I don't know. It's tough to say All right Drago catch you later. Oh take on the ultramarines. Okay, that looks good. See you cat tours Oh hand brush. Yeah, that's that's rough dude I mean, you could put down tape. That would help still, even if you're not airbrushing, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, don't leave your tape down too long. Obviously, it's going to take longer with hand than anything else. Bum, bum, bum. So, did we, did we figure out, I guess, top D's counting down. Did we figure out who is the top D? All right, hold up. Because I know... Do we get JK right straight? All right, hold on. Let me check. Let me check the logs. August 21st. Today's 20. Yes, 21st. I'm going to make sure this magma droth goes to a good home. Oh, there you go, Flippy for real. That's a great idea. So, yeah, as long as you use, like, a low-tack paint, I could see that working very well. Um, let's see. Stats. Hmm, that's not good. That doesn't tell us what we want to know. And that doesn't tell us what we want to know either. Wheel.
No, nope, not that one either. Shoot. Okay, um... I just have to look this up. By hand... Okay. I thought there was a... I don't know, they changed the interface here. It's super frustrating. Kyle Wright, $15. Okay, yeah, so it does look like it is... On Tim the Great right now for Top Donator. Yeah, okay. Cool. We're good to go. Um, so we got about eight minutes left, give or take seven minutes and 16 seconds, to be honest. So let's just do a quick a recap of what we did today and just kind of talk it out we wanted to i wanted to show you a bunch of products actually we got a bunch of stuff sitting here that but we just didn't get to it so we'll get to it so first off we did all the reds on the warrior demon i think we're going to go back we're going to take it up a little bit more with the orange cut it back with some burnt umbers in different places and then start on the detail work after we airbrush all of the um, the crazy black detail work that's gonna that's gonna happen. Here's all the wings and everything; they're looking fresh. Now on the here's these, so you can kind of see where we're going with. Now I'm thinking on the on the black areas right here. What we're going to do is uh, do a little electric blue, probably mix with black, just to kind of mute it down a lot, but still keep that that blue pa blue palette kind of working, kind of like some warms with some colds, and maybe some bone. Whatever bone we do, we'll do some bone up here, metal out the sword, maybe with some vertigre. Not exactly sure yet. All the bone is going to be reverse demon doubt, you know, like burn it out towards the end. So it'll go lighter to darker, like we would expect with like demon bone. And then these guys, I wanted to do a little bit of blue glow here in the cut. But uh, I, I guess it's just not in the cards. And then we did, we laid down the, uh, what texture is this? Now this is the Astro Granite texture. This is the more textured one with like the micro beads and stuff. So we laid that all down and that is gonna look like Mr. Dragon Cat right here when we highlight it up with some uh, Celeste Gray and hit it with a few tufts. And anybody that has a little cliff area will, uh, I think we used Underbelly Gray from P3. But we'll work that up on any of the special characters and stuff. I did the Lord Relictor right here. He was super fun. He's kind of like a chaplain. We did all the uh, a lot of these details all black, but we still got to work on his base some um, and work up these uh, these tabards here, which I think is going to be uh, be really fun to work on. You can kind of see all the all the details and the candles and things. Lots of detail on this guy. He was, whew, he was definitely something to work on. Um, and he, where's the, oh, here it is. This is the little piece that goes on the back of him. So we started working it up a little bit and then I went back and I glazed in a little of the gloss Agrax uh, wash just to get in there in the in the cracks even more and give that pronounced Sigmar kind of text so we worked this up from our normal mix of uh, Minoth white base and Minoth white highlight with a little bit of Agrax earth shade in the cracks there the gloss of course so that'll go on his back. But yeah, I think we did a great job on the prosecutors, adding in a little bit of that dirty violet. 
and then giving the, the guys that dirt sheet violet and Rieksland flesh shade gloss wash there to give it that nice, that nice rich, super rich depth. I'm definitely a fan of that. I think that looks super good. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> oh. And what do we got for next week? What do we got on the... Oh, we got these too. So at some point, when I'm doing all the bone detail, these will get done as well. Little backwards, we'll start from light to dark, and then we'll probably come in and fade it in with a little uh, burnt umber around that front area, just to get it, get it in there and get it, get it transitioned back to the red properly. And the same is going to have to probably happen for this. There we go. Stop talking to Devastator. The uh, these right here. So we'll work in some transitions once we get that blue, uh, that black blue in there. Then we'll start working in some of the transitions. It might be burnt umber, but it might be more of a like a like a gray uh, brown, like a cadmium brown or something from Vallejo's line. Just to get those transitions right. But still a lot of work here. Airbrushing is a tool uh, that saves you time to go in, in my opinion, to go in and, and do a lot of the line work and finish finish up a lot of that work that would just be boring and, and redundant at that point. So it gives you time to uh, kind of plan out your attacks, sectionalize things off, like you know the feed and everything. We're gonna we're gonna do all that separate, and then just kind of go in and start picking out details, and slowly airbrush transitions and details in. That's kind of the plan on this guy. He's gonna, it's gonna be a little big, a little bit of a big project. We'll work on him off camera, off and on. Hopefully these stormcasts get finished up this week. That's my plan. Get these finished up. Do some sort of giveaway for these bad boys. Or... Um, does internet porn know you're cheating on it? <laughs> every day, Archer. Every day. So we'll go in and we'll we'll finish these guys up. Do a little giveaway for them coming up soon okay so that is it the top donator I don't know who is it Tim the Great I don't know who did who he deferred that to did he say he wanted to give it to LT I forget I'll ask him about it I'm sure he'll tell me all right thanks everybody for watching tonight we get out of here him the great uh, we'll be back next week it'll be the final week to redeem your catnaps in August <laughs> uh, let's get, let's find somebody to go raid real quick one more show and tell next week I'm gonna try to work it in kind of feel bad I had a lot of cool stuff to show you guys oh if you deferred to cat box draw okay Gotcha. Well, he didn't. So, <laughs> uh, good for Drago, I guess. All right, let's see who's streaming. Hang in here. Wait for the host to go through. Get those cat emoticons ready. Oh, not that many people streaming tonight. Where are all the streamers at? Interesting. It's like a ghost town out there. Holy cow! All right, well we'll go. Uh, we'll go play with this guy. I like him. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Monday, Monday, Monday. Let's see.
buttons, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.